morning. Uh, sorry, afternoon. Um, I'm back in Sheffield and I've come to look at a branch line and it's a branch line that some of you might have heard of, some of you might not have heard of it, but I've come to trace the, uh, the story and the root of the old Burley Collieries branch. So it was opened in 1855 by the Manchester, Sheffield and Lincolnshire Railway which obviously then later became the Great Central Railway and it ran from Woodhouse, right where Woodhouse Junction signal box was all the way to, I don't know if you're familiar with Sheffield um, I don't know what the road's called now but it served two collieries, Burley East Colliery and Burley West Colliery and I've just seen that referred to as Burley Collieries but I think that's because it came first but let me show you on a map exactly what I'm talking about and where we're going to be going today. Here is a wider map of the area for anyone not familiar with the beautiful steel city of Sheffield. We're in the industrial southeast of the city. Thanks as always to Railmap Online, here is Woodhouse on the right, where our branch line leaves what you may now know as the Sheffield to Worksop and Lincoln line, formerly the Manchester, Sheffield and Lincolnshire Railway. But let's not get too bogged down in the various names of the old railway companies. And we can see our route skirting under the village of Woodhouse past the new at Burley East Colliery before finishing at the original Burley West Colliery, labelled here simply as Burley Collieries. The collieries were initially owned by the Sheffield Coal Company, which owned other local collieries in the area. So let's head up to Woodhouse and we'll start the, uh, we'll start the journey of the Burley Collieries branch. So there's a view of Woodhouse Junction in the distance, so our Burley branch, Burley Collieries branch went off to the right hand side, just about where that red light is. So the old Woodhouse Junction signal box, um, that closed and was demolished last year in 2021, I think it was March time, the same time as they got rid of uh, Baton, just a few miles up the line there. Here's the site of the old Woodhouse Junction signal box. Not a lot here now, is there? So here's some footage that I took earlier in 2021, just before the Woodhouse Junction signal box was pulled down. Now, it's not a great location to film the signal box. It's not really that accessible. And it looks like I had some kind of COVID haircut as well at that time. Still got this little old building. Don't know what it was. So there's a signal box, of what was a signal box just behind there. The line came, um, the Burley branch came behind the signal box and went off in that direction, roughly over here. And here's an old view, so that little block you can see there is the signal box and there's our Burley Colliery's branch line just branching off to the bottom of the screenshot. That doesn't look accessible now does it? So this is about 100 yards up from Woodhouse. As you can see, we've got some uh, small bridge abutments here. It's a no through road, we can't go in there, unfortunately. Well, there's the track bed just crossing this little farm access. Now, I've never tried it. I don't think we can walk along the track bed I've been told it is possible but it's very very hard going but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go round I'm gonna go up to Baton Road where there was um, a, a bridge under Baton Road and here's our Baton Road bridge so this predates the arrival of the new A57 but if we just zoom into Google Maps we can actually still see the alignment of that first section of line from Woodhouse Junction and if we pan out a little bit on that map, we can see that after that road bridge, the alignment pretty much disappears. Just by Baton Tip, near Baton Tip Roundabout, on the other side of the road here, we should have. Wow, this is a really fast road to run across. We should have a wall. These cars are going to have a bit of a surprise when they get around the corner because there's a speed camera van. Look at all these nettles. That's the reason I've got trousers on in the daylight today. So yeah, this wall. Now, this is Baton Road. This is only a couple of hundred yards up from where we were at the last bridge abutment. Now, 
A lot of people, especially if you're from this part of Sheffield, probably drive past this without even realising it's in the trees. Just opposite the tip entrance. There's a coping stones on the top. I'm going to try and get down there and have a look, see if we can spot anything. So I have heard this referred to as Baton Road Tunnel, but looking on maps, it literally just goes under the road. So I'm going to just refer to it as a bridge for now. Let's get through here into this darkness. That was quite easy and I thought actually I've, I've come prepared to scramble today. So this is infilled. There is our track bed down there. Yeah, that's not very, that's not very passable, is it? I'm glad I didn't try to walk that from, from the other end. So yeah, this is an infilled bridge. Oh wow, you can actually, look at that, you can see the top, top of the arch there. I'm not gonna try and climb in there for a start as I've not fetched my torch because I wasn't expecting anything like this. Ugh, I just touched a slug on that tree. It wasn't very pleasant. Yeah, look at that. Let's see if I can get a bit further in and if it'll make a difference. I've just, that's the light from the phone. Forgive the noise, they're just cutting the grass literally the other side of this. Whoa. Yeah, amazing. I lived here for for 16 years nearly, and I never knew when I drove past this bridge for years without realizing there was even a railway here. But I never knew that was there like that. I think it was only single track, but it is quite a wide wall, isn't it? Try and get round there. It's not the best foot of ground this. It goes quite a way, doesn't it, that, that wall? I've been waiting patiently for that noisy lawnmower to stop, but it doesn't look like it's going anywhere. So, yeah, I'm just saying this is quite a long um, retaining wall, top of the bridge, whatever you want to call it, um, for a single track. And I think it's obviously because the line's going off, from what I can tell, in that direction. So it's coming at quite a skew to this road heading over there. Now I do know the other side of that bridge isn't going to be there. That's that side, the, the Burley pit that we'll get into, Burley East Colliery that we'll get into when we get further up the line. Um, that's the kind of waste spoil area for it and the line disappears now. So I'm going to walk on a bit, about another kilometre, kilometre and a half and pick up on the entrance to Burley East pit. that looks very much like the remains of a sleeper to me so i'll pick up the story here just the other side of other side of the pit tip from where i left you at that old bridge um so i've just walked over the top and this would have been the site of the burley colliery east or burley east colliery sorry now where i'm standing now I'll pull up some old maps in a moment, um, but this is where the complex was, the sidings and all the uh, the usual paraphernalia that, that comes with collieries. So I think this was the second of the Burley collieries to open and there's a, if memory serves me correctly, I think this sign we're about to see in a moment says 1888. I'm about to be proven wrong, aren't I? Yeah, but it's from here we start to walk on something that resembles a track bed though it has been re-landscaped you can kind of just about make out you can feel like we are walking on a disused railway line and here's the stone just to commemorate the colliery so let's just have a look what dates that said 1888 there we go closed in 1943 I think that's when it stopped producing coal in 1943, but I think the colliery did continue for 
several years after that as as um i don't know what the right phrase is like a training a training complex in terms of the railway i know the railway was handed over from the manchester sheffield lincolnshire railway or i think it was lner by that stage or was it great central someone will correct me on that um, it went into the hands of the colliery company but i'm really not sure when this railway line closed after that that is something as a mystery now there's a lot of people watch these videos who have a lot of knowledge of sheffield history and things like this so if anyone knows film me and send me a message leave me a comment it's hard to get a feel of what was here this has been repurposed into into a country park now a lot more trees than it would have had but you can we've got a bit of a plateau here we're on the side of the valley the shire brook valley and this plateau I understand would have been the um, the sidings for the Burley East Colliery. It's now very recently it's, it's been kind of derelict land, not very uh, not very pleasant land either. But it's now been taken over as a kind of horsey place. So we'll follow the track bed now for about a mile. So this is the Shirebrook Valley Nature Reserve, not to be confused with Shirebrook going out towards Mansfield way that I've done in some of my other videos. I did do a video here actually, this is one of my very first videos when I started making them, I think we was in lockdown. I only lived, I only lived 20 minutes in that direction, 20 minutes walk. So I do know these parts quite well. And we've got, we've got all the well, we've got the old Rainbow Forge over there and the other one, I can't remember the name of it now, Car, Car Forge. You can tell we're on a railway embankment at the moment, can't you? This alignment, we've got the usual surface as well, you can see. Like a cinder path. I'm not expecting to be finding anything railway related really in terms of telegraph poles or signal equipment. And this was a single track railway and it had a one engine in steam or I don't know if that's the right term, a one engine at any one time on the line rule. So if it's going to have any signalling equipment at all I, I don't know. But it's uh, it's been long long gone this line. There's not much. Well, there's nothing, nothing left. A lot of development around it as well. It's just looking back from where we've we come from. So it does follow right next to Stone Lane, all the way down now to Coisley Hill. I was saying I wasn't expecting to find anything. Was it? I don't know if these are sleepers or not. I'm not sure. They've got. And sticking out there, there may be gate posts. I may be a bit optimistic thinking that they're railway sleepers. To be honest, I've always ignored this branch line, I've never really considered it worthy of doing a video on. Um, it's not, in terms of a disused railway walk, I think it's scraping the barrel somewhat. Um, but then I was out walking the dog last week and I was I came just was in the area, I just stopped by and I had a walk around here and I had a walk down here and I thought maybe it is worth doing, it's worth telling the story. Because some of my most popular videos um, that I've done have been on these kind of lines where there's not much left and you really have to kind of scratch beneath the surface of the history. And I think sometimes when you have to use your imagination a little bit more, I think it does make it a little bit more interesting. There's certainly quite a lot of fun to put together. Bit of a cut in now. So this path's starting to climb ever so slightly now. I can see Coisley Hill uh, in the distance, road in front. So on the maps, it's got this down as um, the railway going underneath the road. So we're climbing up to, uh, to road level now. So where do we go from here? The line went, kind of curved round, if you know the area, curved over where's the bottom of 
Mosborough Parkway and then it went behind the houses on uh, Normanton, is it Normanton Hill? God, I'm not doing very well with my road names and place names, am I today? Um, and then, but we'll see, we'll see it come out underneath Normanton Hill a little bit further up. So this is where the bridge would have been. There's no abutments, no stonework left anywhere. Um, and the line went straight off through them trees and curved round. We can't access the, uh, the trap bed across the other side here. You'll just have to squint for a moment while I flash up this side by side image. Here is the line curving round behind Normanton Spring towards the Burley West Colliery. You can see on the modern view on the right, there is now the A57 Mosborough Parkway, which dissects where the track bed would have been. We can roughly make out the alignment on the Google map view. I did venture into the dangerous wilderness of the bushes to try and take some footage, but there's nothing really worth showing you of what little there is left of any accessible track bed. So just going under the A57 Mosborough Parkway. So we're just coming up to Normanton Spring Road just below us here so the the line of the railway just below us here so we're about to to join it but it from what I can make out it kind of goes through these end houses I don't know if this line's been closed longer than the the, the, the top bit that we saw but this collier we did close I think it was in 1908 we're now at the former bridge underneath Normanton Hill Another one that's infilled and now has a few houses built on top of the infill. Now, I did film footage of this, but on getting home, it doesn't appear to have recorded. So I'll have to show you on Google Maps where the top of the bridge and the coping stones are still in place. Some of them now just a garden wall. It's like one of the coping stones. Uh, it's fenced off. I was wondering if I can get a view down here just to see the state of the infilling, but that's from the other side. To be honest with you, it's been a bit of a trek up here. I could have probably just pulled up a Google Map screen grab, couldn't I? But never mind. So what was the other side of this bridge? This would be the entrance to the Burley West Colliery, the older of the two collieries. Nothing to show you, unfortunately, of the branch line. Just a mixture of parkland, green space and lots of trees. So that's the Burley Colliery's disused railway branch in Sheffield. And I can tell you, it's about 23 degrees today. It's not massively warm, but it's so humid. I have had no fun lumping up and down those hills today. For some reason, I thought this was gonna be a short one, so I came out light. I didn't bring a bag, so I've not got any water. Absolutely gasping for a drink now. So I'm just heading back to the car now. A couple of miles walk. It's times like this, I wish I had a car like Night Rider. Just push, push a button, but I've only got a Ford Fiesta and it's only got a CD player and three radio stations. Now I always love hearing from people after I put these videos out, people who've got their own experiences, or if you know someone who lived by or worked on this line, all these collieries, or like parents, grandparents, or even yourself, do you know, let me know, drop us a comment, or come and leave me a message on my Facebook page. I don't claim to be an expert. You could probably find the majority of things that I've told you today with a quick 30 minute Google search, which is pretty much what I do. But just come in and have a look around us, just help me piece it together. But I'll sign off, as always. Appreciate you watching, thanks for your support. Take care and I'll see you soon.